Hello, in this video tutorial, we're going to show you how you can use just the streaming side of ShowTix for you, leaving the monetization and ticketing side to a third party or manual process. If you're going to only use the streaming side of ShowTix for you, this means that we will be securing your content and the access to that content by your patrons. We'll also be handling all of the technology side of the streaming. If your production is licensed through Music Theatre International or Dramatist Play Service, we will continue to do your royalty tracking through ShowTix for you. What will not occur again is the ticketing or monetization side if you choose to use a third-party ticketing system or manual process. The fee structure, if you're only going to use streaming on ShowTix for you, is flat rate of $1 per ticket. ShowTix for You does not show advertising to your patrons, nor does it sell your patrons' information or your information. The $1 per ticket flat rate fee is going to cover the security of your content as well as the access control of your patrons. It will also include all the bandwidth and storage of your video content and customer service for you and your patrons the day of the stream. To set up an event on ShowTix for You, access the main menu and choose New Event. The three types of streaming events, again, are live streams, scheduled content, which is pre-recorded content that plays on a specific day and time, or video on demand. In this example, we're going to choose scheduled content. You'll want to choose your licensing house. If they're not in the list, you can select Other. And now you need to at least fill out the required fields. Some of the information will appear on the stream player while patrons are viewing, so we recommend, even though it's not required, entering the information. These fields include the description field, which could be an event or show synopsis, and also the show program, where you can enter a URL and your patrons will be driven to your show program or playbill. Because you're going to be using a third-party system, the show ticks for you fees should be paid by you, our client. If you're going to use the paper tickets out of the show ticks for you system, we recommend uploading a poster and advertisement graphic as they do appear on the paper tickets. We do recommend you enter a cast list or your artist list as this information will appear during the stream. Now we'll get back to the required fields. And now we're to pricing. You do want to enter the actual pricing of your event because of the royalty tracking that is occurring. Now we're going to select the days of our scheduled content event. In this example, we'll choose Saturday the 29th and the 30th at 7 o'clock. Now we don't want the public sales to actually ever open because you're going to be selling tickets through your third party. So we want the public sales to actually start after the closing performance. We'll go ahead and create these two dates, and now we have our two streaming events. We'll save as a draft. We'll now be given the opportunity to upload our video content. But if you're not ready to upload the content yet, you can simply close this window. You can get back to it at any time. So our event is now created, we can publish it, and again, it will never open to public sales, so only the box office will be able to see this event. Now there's two different processes you can use in regards to getting the access codes to patrons when you're only using the streaming side of ShowTix for you. In this first example, we're going to do a bulk export of tickets or access codes, and you're going to go upload them into a third-party system or create a manual process of selling those tickets. So in this example, we're going to go ahead and select Saturday and that we want 25 of these single viewer access codes or tickets. We'll add those to the cart. Now we simply want to run this as a cash order and click checkout. Now, if you want to actually use our paper tickets, you can download those 25 tickets. On those 25 tickets, you're going to find the access code as well as the instructions of how the patron should access the stream on the day and time of your stream. If you uploaded graphics, they would also appear on these tickets. Now, the option is you could download these tickets and then upload them individually into a third party system.
Now, if you do not want to use our paper tickets, the other option that you have is to return to your event and click on the gear icon and choose Stream Access Code Report. This is going to download a CSV of the 25 access codes from the order that you just ran, along with some of the ticket information. Using this CSV, you could upload this information into your third party and create tickets yourself in that system. Or you could upload this to a marketing application to distribute the access codes. But don't forget, you need to give the patrons the information that appears on our tickets of what URL to access and how to enter their access code. Now, the second method that you could use, and this one is useful if you do not think you're going to have many viewers for your stream, is to actually not run the tickets yet in the Show Ticks for You system. So you first set up the event, then you would wait until sales come in into your third party system. And as the sales come in, you would come and run each individual purchase through the Show Ticks for You system. So let's say a ticket order came in your third party system and you now want to get them their access code. You could come and choose the date they purchased, how many tickets they purchased, and then again you would choose cash, but this time you would enter the customer's information, including their email address, first name, and last name, which you captured in your third party system, and you would check out. This would actually email an actual ticket to the patron with the information about how they can watch your stream. This method makes more sense if you think you will not have many ticket purchases because you are duplicating the workload. If you're going to use the first method of doing a bulk export of access codes, please keep in mind that you should create an operational process and only export as many tickets as you need that you think that you will sell. This is because the fees will be charged when you export these access codes and your royalty tracking occurs on the exports. So you want to export just what you think you will be using. So now you've created your event in Show Ticks for You and you've either exported tickets or access codes or ran the individual purchases that came in through your other system through Show Ticks for You. Now it's time to get ready for the actual stream. For this example, we created a scheduled content event. This is pre-recorded content that you're going to upload to the platform, and our platform is going to play it on specific days and times. So as you get closer to your first stream, you'll want to upload your content by clicking on the gear icon and choosing video uploader. From there, Show Ticks for You will handle all of the streaming, as well as the access control when your patrons come to watch the stream. Now, if you were doing a live stream, you would come and get your RTMP credentials from your Show Ticks for You event and put it in your streaming application. This will take your live stream and push it to this event on the Show Ticks for You platform, for which patrons have their access codes and will watch your stream. If your event is video on demand, you would go to the gear icon and choose video uploader. Your patrons would come to the Show Ticks for You site, enter their access code, and they would be delivered your content as a rental for 48 hours. We hope this video tutorial was helpful in showing you how you may use the Show Ticks for You system only for streaming and not for monetization or ticketing. While you do lose efficiency by not using the full end-to-end -end solution, you would be able to use a third party or manual process, but leave the streaming to the Show Ticks for You platform. If you have questions, please feel free to schedule a call on the Show Ticks for You website, and thank you for watching.